screen. Uh, Shalom from Jerusalem. Uh, Ma'am, what do you think about uh, Israel and uh, uh, your homeland? I love Israel. I uh, lived here uh, now for four years. I uh, once lived here once before. I'm a journalist, so therefore I'm always writing about the good things of Israel to uh, promote the concept of Hasbara, of public relations outside of Israel. Now, now let me ask you a question, uh, since uh, you're a journalist and you probably uh, know uh, a little more about this than I do. What do you think about all these immigrants that came in on the influx of the 70s and 80s and some in the 90s uh, who came here as Jews, yes. yet they're not practicing any sort of Judaism? I don't think practicing Judaism is essential to living in Israel. You, you live Israel the way you want to live Israel. You want to be Haredi, you want to be ultra-religious, you can be religious. If you want to be secular, you can be secular. I don't think religion uh, should play the only role in why somebody comes in Israel and why somebody stays. But, but I, I ask you this question because uh, in my uh, going around the country, I see many so-called Russians yes. who came here under the pretense of yes. Aliyah, yes. and uh, they don't practice any sort of uh, either keep Shabbat or any mitzvot, anything that has to do with our religion. Yes. And it's sad. I'm sorry to, that that's the case, but huh? this is their choice. This is a democracy. We have the right to have our religion and our life and our politics and whatever the way that we want to live here. They couldn't do that in, in, in Soviet Russia, former Soviet Union. So now they have that freedom. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe their children will come back to Judaism uh, more so, more actively, like you say. But I think it's their choice. This is a democracy. And now, now, what do you think personally about Judaism as a whole? It's my religion. It's all I know. It's what I've grown up in. This is how I feel. I'm very uh, observant in many ways. And uh, this is uh, important to me. It's a very important part of my life. Now, th th this thought just came to my mind. Uh, and I believe this comes from the Torah. It says that if a stranger is willing to come into the household of Israel yes. and if he wants to become like you yes. and also a citizen, you ought to bring him in. Yes. Uh, is Israel doing enough uh, to basically practice that because they were also strangers okay. in the land of Egypt? Yes, they are, they are doing what they can. It's a very difficult... We're a democracy, although at times we look like we're a theocracy. And I think that the uh, government, I think that they're trying to make this a more... Um, uh, viable situation to, to bring in the strangers, yes. Now, now Rabbi Druckmann signed a 50,000 uh, conversions or giurs. Yes. You know, I have to thank him for that because he basically brought in a lot of those who really wanted to come into the household True. of Israel. True. Uh, so, do you think that we should go out and, and tell people about Judaism or, or we don't proselytize it? as we say, as per se. Right, right, right. We don't, we don't cross the lines, but yes, I think this, I think that we should um, tell people more about, about Judaism and about the, the good side of Judaism and the wonderful things that are part of our family life and of our observant holidays and customs and traditions. You know, we just finished two nights ago, Shavuot, where we have uh, the story of Ruth, Ruth who comes where her, who decides after having been grown up in, the, in Moab, having uh, known the worship of idols and so forth, she, she learns from her mother-in-law. She was married to a Jewish young man for 10 years. She learns from her mother-in-law what Judaism is, and she makes the decision as they are coming along the road to return to Bethlehem that uh, her people shall be her people and her religion her religion. You know, and one thing I learned about that story was that, that she hung uh, to to Naomi, no? She, yes. she, she just hung to her and she says, no, I see your struggles, I want to be there for you. Right. And yet the other one departed yes. and I'm trying to balance things out because there's many here in the land of Israel that, that want to hang on, yes. yet the powers of be are not letting them come in. I don't think there was any power that be that made Orpha change her mind. I think it just, perhaps when she heard from Naomi, the difficulties, and you know when one wants to convert to Judaism, one of the things that must be done is they must be tried, you must try to discourage them. And I think that's in her speech. 
uh, to the girls, this is what Ruth, uh, what Naomi is trying to Discouraging do. Discouraging her. She's she wants them to understand it's not an easy choice. It, there are many difficulties, even then, before there was a formal uh, conversion ceremony. And she wants them to know this. And Orpah realizes it's not for her. And Ruth says, no, this is for her. So the land of Israel belongs to just the Jews or to the uh, It belongs people to anyone that, uh, who wants to be here. And anyone who wants to 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 uh, uh, contribute to the country, that's who it belongs to. If you want to give to the country, if you want to contribute, then it's your country too, whether you're Jewish or you're not Jewish. This is real LCP Independent News to Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Okay.